Optimism is not a new architectural style. It is an outlook. There was no shortage of optimism in Europe between the two world wars. After the collapse of the great European empires, new independent states that appeared on the European map shared an optimistic vision of a more promising future. In 1918, the founders of the newly proclaimed independent republic of Lithuania declared Vilnius to be their capital. One year later, however, geopolitical tensions and territorial conflicts forced Lithuania's government to quickly relocate to the country's second largest city. Konus took on a unique status, that of provisional capital, which led to the city's radical transformation. The status of capital city gave provincial Konus the opportunity to rapidly transform into a vivid, modern city. To free itself of imperial architectural symbols, change its urban environment, create new political centers and construct new government buildings. The speed and scale of the transformation was extraordinary. Over 20 years, the city's area increased sevenfold. 10,000 new buildings were constructed, incorporating cleanliness, openness and light. By the 1930s, Konus began to see the return of young Lithuanian specialists who studied architecture in Western Europe. Berlin, Rome, Brussels, Paris, Grenoble, Ghent, Dessau and elsewhere, bringing new trends home with them. These modernists became a powerful collective force that shaped Konus' unique style, displaying a bold plurality of modern architectural expression. The creation of the capital city produced favorable conditions for manifesting a national style, which expressed the aspiration to shape the face of a new country. It was Art Deco, which allowed to put together two basic elements of national style, modernism and tradition. The celebration of medieval glory of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, the Baroque style and vernacular art had visible impact on architecture, especially interior decoration. A capital city absolutely needed landmark buildings. One of the most visible structures in Konus is Christ's Resurrection Church, built on the hill as a votive gesture of gratitude to the Almighty for Lithuania. The church fully corresponds to the innovative urban idea of a city crown, or Stadtkrone, promoted by the German modernist Bruno Taut. Visible from various vantage points around the city, this national pantheon and monument to independence continues to serve as a symbolic center and city landmark. An exceptional cityscape spatial structure emerged on the terraces of the Naminus and Neris slopes. The residential district of Jelakonis was inspired by the garden city ideas promoted by English urban planner Ebenezer Howard. Drafted in 1923 by the Danish planner Marius Fransen and his Lithuanian counterpart Antanas Jokimus, the villa neighborhoods of Jelakonis reflect the active spirit of an era and the creation of a new way of life. Konus lost its status as capital after the onset of the Soviet occupation and the Second World War. As Soviet modernist trends began to reach Lithuania, it was the legacy of Konus' modernist architecture which served as the basis in the 1960s for the emergence of new modernist buildings. Konus' modernism is increasingly recognized within an international context. In 2015, the European Heritage Label was awarded to the phenomenon that is the provisional capital of Konus. The city has also been granted the status of a UNESCO City of Design. A new step forward was the designation of Konus as the European Capital of Culture for 2022 
and the Modernism for the Future program, dedicated to the rapidly growing cultural heritage community. No less important are the changing attitudes of heritage property owners. Today, the authentic interwar spirit is becoming a highly valued feature in private interior spaces.